Hello, good morning, students. I am once again with you. Today the weather is very pleasant outside, and uh, today I am going to take up uh, the chapter that I discussed with you on that day. The name of the chapter is Two Gentlemen of Verona. We have already discussed this chapter uh, through Zoom, and now in this uh, video lecture, I am going to repeat. uh it again for your convenience so here goes this chapter now what is this chapter all about we must ask all these questions to ourselves what is the meaning of the title of this chapter two gentlemen of verona now what is this chapter all about this chapter is about two brothers okay the the name of these brothers is nicola and jacopo okay one is 9 years old the other is 7 years old they are orphans their father had died in a war okay uh, the mother has already died uh now they live you can say verona is basically a a, a a a town you can say a famous town in italy the live you can say uh, far away from their village that is in verona they do odd jobs there they sell fruits they sell newspapers and uh, they do odd jobs odd jobs means um jobs which are not permanent they keep on changing their jobs why do they do odd jobs they are so small kids why don't they go to school uh, why do they do different kinds of jobs they guide the tourists now why do they do the jobs this is very important they are poor uh, uh, uh brothers they are poor uh, boys and they have been doing odd job just to collect money now the question arises why do they collect money i will come to that one day what happens the writer of the story he was passing through there he comes across these boys and somehow uh, these boys they uh, uh, prevailed upon him to uh, drop them to uh 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 to to a village which is uh, a few kilometers away from the city of verona and since the narrator was also going uh in that direction he promised to drop them there so when the when he dropped them uh, at their village the two boys entered into a hospital the uh, writer or the narrator of the story he also follows them but he didn't uh, make them uh make them realize that they are being chased by uh the writer so when he goes inside the hospital he uh notices that these two boys met a small girl there who is being uh under a, a treatment for some kind of sickness so after inquiry he comes to know that this is the girl they have met is lucia she is their sister and she is suffering from tuberculosis of the spine tuberculosis of spine means read the haddi the tb okay so she is suffering from tuberculosis of spine and these two boys are his brothers they come after they come every week to deposit the hospital charges and that is why they work at verona and do odd jobs to collect money uh, to fund the treatment of their uh, uh, sister so when the writer comes to know about it he gets highly impressed by uh, the selfless service of these two boys towards their sister so this is how the story ends now we come to the title of the story two gentlemen of verona the gentlemen these are small boys but the word men has been used for them now it means they are very very mature very very mature they know that their sister is in trouble and they have to work hard to pull their sister out of the problem so that is why they were called men no gentle gentle means because they have dedicated their life their time their energy their money uh, to the service of their sister so that's why they are called gentle men of verona verona is the name of a city so what is the theme of this story i have already explained you the meaning of the word theme and today again i take an opportunity to explain you the meaning of the word theme a theme you know the recurring idea in our story 
Now, what is recurring idea? Recurring means which is coming again and again, again and again. Uh, the main idea, the recurring idea that is coming again and again. No, which is the idea that comes again and again in the story? The recurring idea in the story is that these two brothers have dedicated their life to the service of their sister. So the recurring idea is selfless service to others, selfless service to the members of the family. So this is the theme of the story. Now if we will try to understand it in that way, 